What do you guys think is the most commonly used command on a Linux system? If I had to bet, my money would be on sudo. You need it for editing system configuration files by prepending sudo before vim or whatever text editor command you're going to use. You need to use it with your package manager in order to install new packages in most cases. And of course, sudo is needed anytime you want to start or stop your daemons. It's basically needed to perform any administrator activities on a Linux system or root activities rather. So it would really suck if there was some kind of security vulnerability in this program, right? Well, that's exactly what we've got here. CVE 2023-22809, which I think is the first major vulnerability that I've covered this year. And yeah, it's a vulnerability in the sudo command, specifically the sudo edit or sudo hyphen e functionality of the sudo command. This particular vulnerability, it allows for an attacker that is exploiting it to gain arbitrary access to edit files that are on the system with the vulnerability and they can edit those files with the same privileges that the sudo command was going to grant, which is usually root. Of course, sudo could be used to run commands as non-root users, but as discussed, it is typically used to gain root privileges in order to perform those various administrator activities. So with the ability to edit files as root, an attacker can do anything that they want on the system. They can steal your files, they can install ransomware, they can even modify the boot files of your system, which is going to give them some persistence on the machine. So anytime you start your system up, if you've got any antivirus that normally tries to start up to stop rootkits, no. This is starting even before the antivirus can start up. So this is a pretty serious vulnerability to have. And the only reason that this CVE isn't rated a 10 out of 10 in severity is because it requires an attacker to have already gained local access to a system in order for them to exploit it. But this vulnerability, it could be a very, very easy path to privilege escalation to root for any attacker that did manage to get local access. Now, there are a couple of ways to deal with a vulnerability like this. The simplest and most straightforward way would be to just update sudo. So all major distributions, they have had an update which patches this vulnerability added to their main package repositories for at least a couple of weeks now. So yeah, if you update your systems on a regular basis, then you're fine. You don't even have the vulnerability on your system right now. You're not going to have any problems, as is the case with most vulnerabilities that are found in software. I mean, if people are maintaining the software, then they should be patching bugs like this very quickly. But what if I told you that there was a better way of doing things as root or doing things as other users than sudo? After all, we are on Linux where we can change out the various components of our operating systems for better ones. It's not like we're on Windows where UAC, user account control, is your only option for doing things as an admin. No, on Linux, we have choices like this port of the doas command from OpenBSD called OpenDoAs, which also lets you execute commands as another user, typically root for doing administrator tasks. And the main reason to choose do as or open do as uh, for its simplicity, well, definitely make sure you're using open do as if you're on a Linux system, don't just take do as from OpenBSD because, well, they're not exactly the same. Uh, but anyway, the main reason to choose this is simplicity. So the sudo program, it contains over 170,000 lines of code. Do as, on the other hand, is something like 3,000 lines of code. And I think open do as is around that many as well. And yet, do as and open do as do about 90% of what sudo does. And hell, it does 100% of what the majority of people are using sudo for, which is just running commands as root. I would say that unless you're one of the people out there, the few people out there that is actually using the more advanced features of sudo, like the SEL Linux stuff that 
gives you very fine grain control over what situations and like I guess what time of day different users are allowed to be able to execute different commands. Basically, if you weren't administering an enterprise system, you'd be better off just using do as instead of sudo. Uh, cybersecurity is probably the most important reason to want minimalism on your system. Like, I know most people, they go for minimalism because they want to rice their window managers and get really low RAM usage in their uh, NeoFetch and HTOP outputs. And I guess that's kind of important if you're rocking a 10 year old Libre booted ThinkPad with only four gigs of RAM in total. But on modern systems with 32 gigabytes of RAM, you can run bloated desktop environments, you can run bloated Linux distros that have lots of eye candy, no problem, okay? You're never going to run out of system resources. But when it comes to programs like sudo that handle administrator activities, you want that to be very simple, you want it to have a small code base and you want it to be secure. And all of that describes do as and open do as perfectly. So to install do as on your Arch Linux system, simply run sudo pacman s do as, and then enter in your administrator password. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at how small it is. Look at how heckin minimal this software is. Now, after you install do as, you need to create a configuration file in Etsy, uh, and that's going to be called doas.conf. So you're gonna need to create this file. It's probably not going to exist on most systems when you install open do as. Now, if you want to mimic the way that most people have sudo configured, which basically just gives everyone in the wheel group uh, sudo access, and then of course you want your user account to be in the uh, wheel group as well, you just put this into your do as configuration. So look at this, it's so simple. The program is simple, the configuration is simple, and uh, well, I don't actually need to write this. And then another thing that I like to do, because if you've been using Linux for a while, if you've been, if you've been using sudo for a while, then it can be kind of difficult to train your brain to start doing do as instead. So just set an alias. Uh, if you go into your bash RC, you can set an alias like this, sudo equals do as. And so what this does, is now anytime you run it, it's going to run do as, and you can see it using do as right there, even if you still have sudo installed on your system. So it'll override the real sudo command and just do do as in the background. So yeah, this is the simple solution for doing things as root. Uh, or hell, if you're on a single user desktop Linux system, then you're probably just gonna be fine using su, which uh, when run by itself without any commands just makes you root. As you can see there, it basically it gives you a root shell. And then you can just regularly do, like if you want to install software, for example, you can just pacman s do as, and then you don't need to use sudo or do as or anything else like that. You see, most of the desktop Linux people out there when they're using sudo, they're basically, it's basically just a wrapper for su that lets you run one command as root and then it immediately gives you back your regular user shell, but with a little bit of persistence in most cases. So if you run sudo again after like 30 seconds or so, then you don't have to enter the password again. Um, you know, that's how most people are using sudo, but that functionality makes up probably less than 1% of the 170K plus lines of code that make up the code base of sudo. And of course, the bigger the program is, the bigger the software is, the harder it is to audit, and the more likely that there's gonna be serious bugs found by hackers in the wild and then exploited in the future. So I just wanted to put you guys onto do as. It's a great way to remove some actual bloat from your system and make you more secure. So try it out. Like and comment, attack the algorithm. Follow me on Odyssey and have a great day.